What's up, Aquarius? And welcome to your vibes. All right, so we're going to be jumping into it. Now, when I was getting into the vibes, the thing that I got for you guys was higher level of consciousness. I mean, literally some of the stuff that's about to be revealed to you is going to be mind bending, right? All of that stuff that you heard, it sounded so weird when you were young and then you get older. And just when you thought you knew something, you realize, man, I don't really know what I thought. I thought I knew. And things start to, in a sense, make the world a lot bigger than how they described. You are about to move to a higher level of consciousness. Okay? This is groundbreaking. I don't think you understand how big or how deep this thing can be for you. OK, um, when you start to get this type of information, this is where like the people in power. Right. This is the stuff they don't want you to know, the stuff that they put away. Um, did I tell you, I don't know if it was in a collective vibe or not, where uh, Tesla and I forgot who it was, but he had had these uh, findings. He discovered all of this stuff and he gave it to Tesla to read and review. And Tesla read it and reviewed it. And he said, listen, you need to take this information. Lock it up for a thousand years and reveal it when humanity is ready for it, right? So can you imagine that? There is information out there right now that people were like, put that away, put that away. And it, it just so happens that we are in that time where that information is now coming out, right? Because humanity is ready or whatever. But it's not just everybody. It's the chosen few. So you are one of the chosen few who's about to receive this information that's about to really help you get that power. Okay, let's see. First card, discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. For a lot of y'all, this is going to be some heavy reading, heavy study time. Something's going to come across your timeline. Something's going to come in your face and it's going to be like, listen, you need to study that. You need to look into that. For some of you guys, it's stuff that you've seen before and you just let it bypass. For some of you guys, this is stuff that you studied before, but you didn't go deep. You're being called to go a little bit deeper. Okay. Now, when it comes to life purpose, when it comes to making these dreams come true, this is you still putting in that effort. Okay. Each and every single day doing a little something, something to get yourself uh, close closer and closer. All right. What else do we have? Angelic protection. I told you, you guys are going to new realms. You're traveling through the esoteric realms, right? And you're going to new levels of consciousness, right? Some of these levels of consciousness, some of these different places have gatekeepers and you can't get through, but some of you guys are given the clearance, kind of like you're getting your VIP pass and where some people can go and um, then are stopped at a certain level, you'll be able to go past those levels. You, you've cleared those levels. And not only have you cleared those levels, you have someone with you. You have a guide that is helping to get you there. In fact, you have this angelic protection because there is a purpose for you knowing what you were about to know and being on that level to create so that you can manifest here on the planet. The whole notion of the eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, bringing things onto the planet that did not exist. Okay. Let's see what we got current vibe and energy right now for Aquarius. Two cards want to jump out. Ooh, the magician, I told you, and the empress. Wow. Okay, Aquarius. Remember I was just saying about, you know, this is how people get into the positions of power because they know that information, right? They know the information first and they may not say anything. They may just use the power to their advantage, right? But some people may say, you know what? I learned this information. I'm going to share it with other people, okay? Whatever the choice may be, you're going to be learning stuff that majority human being does not know, and it's going to put you in magical, magical places, okay? The Empress is talking about you basically at the top of your game. Fellas, take it how to fly as Emperor. You being at the top of your game. You, I'm even getting like you being selected to be in a, position in a position of power and again how do people get in these positions well they know information they not only know certain type of information they use the information to get themselves to where they want to be so if you know how to sit there and and meditate and you know and visualize and help attract things into your life and align yourself with the people places and opportunities to get to these positions then this is how they get to them, right? You don't even have to know the people. You can align yourself to run into the right people, right? Same place at the same time. Boom. You make that connection. Either way it goes, you got the power, okay? This higher realm of consciousness is also because you have a brand new spiritual rank. Some of you guys are about to get your scepter and you're about to get your crown. 
And remember, a while ago, I was telling y'all, some of y'all want to get your own like space in the spirit realm. Right. And it may manifest as like your own property here on the physical realm. Right. So you're getting something that belongs exclusively to you in the spirit realm because you earned it. You reached that level of spiritual rank. The gatekeepers have let you through. You have your VIP pass. It's all access. Get ready to manifest some new things. Now, let's look behind the veil. What's going on behind the scenes for Aquarius that Aquarius does not know? Ah, the Eight of Pentacles. This in this deck to me just reminds me of a lot of achievements. Your achievements are already lined up in the spirit realm, okay? For example, take that as a bunch of, let's just say, records or something. Like, your achievements, the, the songs that you did, they're already in the spirit realm. Um, the plaques you received, the certificates, the degrees, whatever it is. And it doesn't necessarily have to be anything, um, you know, like reward wise, but I keep getting achievements. So it could be in the spirit realm. These are all of your achievements. These are all of your trophies. For some of you guys, you don't even know or understand that in your spiritual mansion, there is a room and it's filled with trophies. Like that's the only thing that you have in that room. Okay. All of the different tests that you pass, all of the different um, things that you've done to clear different levels in the spirit realm, it's like you get a plaque or a trophy for each and every single one of those. And if only you knew how your trophy room looked, you know, you would hold your head up a little bit more high. You'd be like, oh, okay, okay. You know, it will make you feel real good to see what all you've achieved. And also what this is telling us is that it's going to, since this is what's in the spirit realm, your plaques, your trophies, all of your achievements in the spirit realm, this is what's going to manifest on earth. So not only do you have the spiritual rank and the spiritual accomplish accomplishments, you're going to do those things here. You see how that works? You see what I'm saying? Okay. So listen, so far so good. Also, I'm getting it connected to this discipline card. You can do whatever you set your mind to because this card here also talks about putting in that work. Okay, point blank, putting in that work. Now, what's the good news? What are the high vibrational things you can look forward to? Well, brand new beginnings. This is the full card. Somebody takes a risk and the risk pays off. Or you're in that stage now. You took the risk, it paid off, and now this is the beginning of a new life. Also, this is talking about starting from zero. Basically, you just went to a new spiritual level and you're starting from scratch. Okay, you have the opportunity to manifest in a brand new spirit space. Okay, totally untapped. No one, zero, no one has tapped into that particular frequency yet. You're going to be the first one to do that, okay? And that's what you're working at right now. Brand new beginning, taking the risk, understanding what's at stake, understanding your spiritual rank, your position, moving to new levels of consciousness. All right, what's on the low vibrational end? What does Aquarius have to look out for? The Six of Wands. Uh-oh. Remember I was saying when you know information and you start to gain a little bit of power because of what you know, you're using, you know, your mystical, magical powers of just your mind itself, this is the six of wands. This is that public thing. And remember I was saying you have to decide if you're going to tell people or if you're going to keep it to yourself, okay? So this is the whole push-pull. People may wonder, how did you rise to power? Wait a minute, hold on, wait a minute. Too many people walking through this door. How did everybody get a VIP access pass? How did you reach this new level of consciousness, okay? It may... Set off a few bells, ring a few alarms. Okay, I want to talk about it. The Six of Wands. Why is the Six of Wands here that public? Okay, maybe you are being told that you don't need to say anything. Maybe some stuff is just not for the public. I mean, if it was in a high vibrational position, then it's like, yeah, shout out to the, from the rooftops. But in this position, it might just be, wait a minute now. This stuff that you're about to learn, stuff you're about to see, you're getting told by Tesla, listen, put that away. Everybody ain't ready, okay? So let's see. Let's talk about this in a low vibrational and six of wands. Empathy, uh-oh. I am open to seeing both sides of a situation. You know what I'm getting with this? Um, some people, if you say stuff, they're not going to understand. They're not going to get it. It's gonna, It may cause a divide. Someone may not see things the way you see things, okay? Because you are going to learn certain truths, certain secrets of the earth, Right. You're going to learn things that, again, the average person will not know in their own lifetime. Right. And you're going to learn it years before multitude of time before you leave this planet. So you're going to have plenty of time to manifest great things because of the things that you're learning and the spiritual rank that you're gaining. Some people will never see the other side. See, this says I am open to seeing both sides of the situation. Spirit realm and physical realm. Some people don't really understand that spiritual realm like that. And then again, when you go into the spirit realm, some people have a limit 
to as far as they can go. Gatekeepers start standing there like, hold on now. If they go too much higher, they're going to fry their earth brain. They ain't ready yet. Okay? And so some people may not truly understand what it is that you're about to start seeing, you know, spiritually, um, supernaturally. It's just not going to make sense. But it's going gonna, it's gonna to totally satisfy your soul. Like, yes, I knew it. I knew it. Okay? All right. Take that how it applies. Okay. Two cards. Next 30 days. I haven't seen that one yet, but this one jumps over Major Arcana, the Hermit. This is a spiritual journey for your own special enlightenment. You are about to come across top secret earth information. And with this Hermit card and the way that this Six of Wands and the, and the low vibrational position is set up, you might have to just take this stuff on your journey for yourself. Tesla, everybody ain't ready for that. I'm going to need you to lock that information away for a thousand years. And guess what? A thousand years later, as the information is being revealed, re-revealed back onto the planet, some of us still feel like, wait a minute, now, everybody ain't ready. Or something like that. Or maybe you feel like that. But you're being told this is all a part of your journey. That hermit walks alone. Um, I was reading in one of the uh, books, I like it, it said the hermit carries the truths unspeakable. Right? Like some stuff just be so real, you can't even say nothing. You ever felt like that before? It's like, hmm. Well, you just shut your mouth because you knew even if you explained it to the depths of your soul, nobody would get it that. Okay, this card jumps over. Oh, the Queen of Cups. All right, so this could be, I'm going to have to clarify, somebody that you know. This could be someone who is going to help you on your journey. This can also be the person who is going to reveal this information because you may manifest, you know, you having this new spiritual rank, you going to this new consciousness level and you may meet someone you may attract or align yourself with someone who's on that same level right and they may be the ones to come and give you this information if you only have but one person one guy one guru one mentor okay if you have only but one person you may be able to share that information because not many people are on this new level of consciousness all right and you know God ain't gonna be too bogus. Nah, like just all you just all on your own, on your own. You may meet wonderful people along the way on your journey. Let me clarify this Queen of Cups real quick. Self-esteem. Watch this. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. Yeah, this person is for your good. Uh, whoever this is, when you go out there into the world, you get all this new information, you feel like you're just so alone because, you know, you have a gift or a skill or a talent and it's so original, so unique, it's so different. You don't have nobody to talk to about it. But this person, whoever this is, is going to help you feel more confident with your gift. They're going to help you hone in your skills because traveling to those new levels of consciousness, you're going to get new skills and you might need somebody to help you figure out left or right. You may have something inside of you and don't even know that it's a gift. So this person may come in and whisper in your ear and tell you, listen, that's a gift. You need to use it. But this is how, okay? Something like that. So that's what I get for you, Aquarius. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. I would love to have you as one of my subscribers. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. Follow me on TikTok. You can head on over to Patreon so you can watch extended videos. You can go to Amazon and grab a copy of my workbook and journal. Yeah, that dream. Okay, make sure you guys like this video. If this is where it ends for you, thank you so much. I appreciate you all, and I'll see you in the next video.